Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe to the newcomers. Welcome to those returning, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Thank you for what you guys do. Uh, thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Um, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out and uh you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse feel free to say hi suggest something there or suggest something here down below so today we're acting, we're reacting to something different we're going to be reacting to how the universe was created according to hinduism um i'm excited to find out what this video is going to be about i'm just curious as to what i'm going to learn today so yeah so without wasting time, let's get into the video. The universe is a mystery that has always puzzled mankind. How was it created and who is responsible for creation? In Hinduism, there are many theories about how the universe was created in the earliest days. Let's explore some of them. In Hinduism, the universe is not one single entity. There are an infinite number of universes that are constantly being created and destroyed. In other words, we live in a universe that belongs to a multiverse. A universe will ultimately die, but the multiverse lives on. Lord Vishnu is a personification of this multiverse. According to Hinduism, Lord Vishnu was asleep in the cosmic ocean of all causes before the creation of the universe. His bed is a giant serpent with thousands of cobra-like hoods. The universe was created in a triad of roles, creator, maintainer and destroyer. Lord Vishnu is the maintainer, Lord Brahma is the creator, Lord Shiva is the destroyer. The universe was created through the actions of Lord Vishnu who slept and let a lotus bloom from his navel. The lotus stem represents the creation of the universe, while Brahma is found at the flower center and represents the creator. The time it takes for one universe to be created and the next one to end is also the duration of one breath of Lord Vishnu. When he exhales, thousands of universes come into being and a new Brahma is born in each one. But when Lord Vishnu inhales, all universes get sucked in and Brahma dies. Lord Brahma represents the universe that we live in. He creates all life forms and is responsible for the physical world that we live in. Lord Vishnu is the personification of the eternal multiverse. He is responsible for the continuation of life in all universes. Brahma is the representation of our temporary physical universe, while Vishnu is the representation of the eternal multiverse that exists forever without any beginning or end. The current universe represented by Brahma is not permanent. In fact, it's quite temporary. Brahma only lives for 100 years and then he dies and a new universe will be born. Now, let's talk about time measurements. Brahma lives for 100 years and each year of Brahma has 360 days. And we are currently on the first day of the 51st year of his reign. There are day and night. During the day, Brahma creates life and during the night, all life he created is absorbed back into him. Therefore, we will only be there for this day of Brahma, which is the first day of his 51st year. But don't be sad. Let me promise you that this is quite a long day. Yug Large Units of Time Think of Yug as a unit of time that is measured in thousands to millions of years. The Vishnu Puran, an ancient Hindu text, has details about these yoga measurements. A Mahayug is made up of four sub yogs that are distributed in the ratio of 4 is to 3, 3 is to 2, 2 is to 1. In a Mahayug, the Kali Yug is the shortest yug 
and lasts for 432,000 solar years, followed by the Dwapar Yuga, which is twice as long as 864,000 years. Then there's Treta Yuga at 12 lakh 96,000 years, and finally the Sat Yuga, which is 17 lakh 28,000 years. So in all, a Maha Yuga on Earth lasts for 4.32 million years. Manvantar, the next major unit of time after a Maha Yuga in ancient Indian text is called Manvantar. At the beginning of a Manvantar. new life forms are created and at the end of it those life forms are destroyed this is how the cycle of life goes on in the ancient indian texts one manvantar is said to last for 71 maha yug or 71 multiplied by 4.32 million years this works out to be around 306.72 million years in total According to these ancient texts all life on earth will eventually be destroyed after 306.72 million years of evolution Interestingly around 252 million years ago the earth experienced its largest mass extinction event most species on earth were killed including nearly 90% to 96 of all insects This was also the only mass extinction period of insects on earth. After each mass extinction of life forms, there is a period of recovery called sandhi kal. This period lasts for one satyug or 1.728 million years. According to the latest estimates from modern science, it is believed that it took around 10 million years for life on earth to recover after the Permian Triassic extinction event as you can see it took our planet 10 million years to get back to its feet after suffering the greatest mass extinction in history kalp day of the brahma or universe the universe has a day too just like our day on earth is called kalp The time period for one kalp is said to be equivalent to 14 manvantars and the sandhi kal. So there are 14 manvantars and 15 sandhi kals in a kalp. During the sandhi kal before the first manvantar, no life has evolved yet. So one kalp equal to 14 multiplied by 306.72 million years plus 15. multiplied by 1.728 million years which makes it one kalp equal to 4.32 billion years on the universal scale one day is said to be 4.32 billion years long this day is divided into a period of creation where life forms are created and a night period during which no creation takes place Each of these periods is also 4.32 billion years long. In other words, one day of Lord Brahma on the universal scale is 8.64 billion years long. It's interesting to note that according to modern scientific discoveries, the oldest life form on the earth is 4.28 billion years old. Mahakalp. Kalp A unit at universal scale is further extended with days and years similar on earth so that a month at the universal scale is 30 kalp that is 30 universal days and a year at the universal scale is 12 such universal months this enables life forms to rise and fall in accordance with the karma they have earned On the universal scale, hundred years are defined as the lifespan of a universe. This is called a mahakalp. A universe is said to end at the end of its hundred years of age. So, the lifespan of an entire universe is 8.64 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 100 billion years, which totals to around 311.04 trillion years 
the ancient indian texts says that our universe is currently on the first day of its 51st year during this day we are in the kaliyug of the 28th mahayug of the 7th manvantar so we have come to the calculation once again according to ancient indian texts the age of the universe is 50 universal years plus 6 manvantars plus 7 sandhi kal plus 28 mahayug 50 universal years equal to 8.64 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 50 billion years equal to 155520 billion years 6 manvantars 6 multiplied by 306.72 million years equal to 1840.32 million years 7 sandhi kal 7 multiplied by 1.728 million years equal to 12.096 million years 28 mahayug 28 multiplied by 4.32 million years equal to 120.96 million years so the age of the universe as per ancient hindu texts is 157.49 trillion years modern science tells us that the universe is around 13.799 billion years old however ancient indian texts predict a much longer timeline Ancient Indian texts says that the age of the universe is around 311 trillion years. This video is only an attempt to appreciate the great scale of time on which ancient Indians were working. We do not come across any other ancient civilizations that talk in terms of billions or trillions of years of calculations with specific names given to such large periods of time like the famous american cosmologist carl sagan said in his book cosmos the hindu religion is the only one of the world's great faiths dedicated to the idea that the cosmos itself undergoes an immense indeed an infinite number of deaths and rebirths It is the only religion in which the time scales correspond to those of modern scientific cosmology. Its cycles run from an ordinary day and night to a day and night of Brahma, 8.64 billion years long, longer than the age of the Earth or the Sun, and about half the time since the Big Bang. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you liked it. like comment and subscribe if you haven't already uh, this was quite a lot to take in and def definitely new to me i always say if you want to learn go there watch as much stuff as you can watch um what else uh read as much books as you can read and then figure out your own conclusion you know because i'm sure there is many other versions of how the world or the universe was created and this i feel like this was focusing more on the numbers which had me confused because that's a lot of numbers and the different gods that um exist and um about the multiverse i think we i don't know do you guys believe in the multiverse i think there is many universes out there you know but if you see a movie like um doctor strange do you think that's how the multiverse actually is do you think there is a version of you in this universe and a version of another version of you in these other universes that exist or what do you think when it comes to life on these other universes does life exist in those uni universes or do you think the only universe that actually contains life right now is the one where we're in and uh, that was very very um interesting and that for me about the multiverse was what picked sparked my interest otherwise according to the rest of it i didn't understand much of 
the rest of it because it was just too many numbers and um i'm sure with time i'll familiarize myself with this information and get to know more otherwise what do you guys think what are your thoughts please comment them or leave them down below i'll appreciate and if there's something you want me to react to like this or anything else drop it down and we'll be more than glad to react to it and i think someone requested for this i'm not sure if it's this one or the other one but a big shout out to you uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video